Well, any and every game played here is pretty special. The cop is unique for its atmosphere, an atmosphere enhanced by this splendid new main stand. A warm welcome to you from Anfield. The teams then, Ireland against Germany. And I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Begley. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. A moment for pride and reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. Ireland have chosen to go 4-5-1. Yeah, essentially this system lends itself to a more cautious approach, but that's not to say they can't turn caution into steady ambition. Three points, that's what they need for the prize of a ticket to the knockout stages. The reward so high, the consequence of failure so costly. This is one game they cannot afford to get wrong. So it's down to business here. Good defending, he knew he had to stop it right there. Russell plays it wide. He's had a go! And he's done it! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. However they tried to stand in his way, he just was not to be denied. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Germany have an early lead, good start. Some good work on the right flank, now what's next? Ireland have it back and they can go again. And Magini! And that's caused a worry or two. Magini weighed up the options and picked the wrong one. Boateng tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, and look who's there doing the defending. Little doubt, that is a foul. It's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. especially accurate. That's Ozil. And it's Mario Gomez. Mario Gomez! And he nearly went all the way. What a chance, a huge chance. He couldn't have set it up any better. It so nearly came off for him. Mario Gomez certainly tends to cast his influence and he's in imposing mood again. Boateng gathers from the goal kick. Walters, and he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Now it's McGeady. Oh, he's got that all wrong and it's a penalty. And that is a huge moment in the context of the game. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he?
Ireland on the spot for parity. <laughs> Saved it. Boateng plays it for a good feeling. They've missed the penalty, but they have to find a guttiness themselves from here. Hector. Pulls out on the left now. Decent progress down the left. Tony Kroos. It's one! Missed by a fraction. Having a look round, aimed low and direct. It's wrestled off the ball. He's on the move, and he's going to have to go it alone. Being played forward, Walters takes control of it and he's on the move, passes it through. And that's been one straight back, there's the whistle for half-time. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal, a more than decent game up to now. Not the most convincing of displays, they could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. minutes from now we will know who goes through from this group well it seems like the perfect situation for fortune favoring the brave 45 minutes to pack in enough risk taking to get this match turned around it's very doable Walters forward it goes well that's where he wants it It's McGeady. And McGeady! Oh, that was close. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Brady! Just to locate well, someone this up front. This is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Whelan tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Mario Gomez. Is it in? And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Oh, he really wanted that. Mario Gomez very nearly making something happen there. You can't keep a good man down. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. It's 
Got a chance from here, but not the kindest angle. Looking to dink it in. Massive leap! It's in! Ireland are back in business. One delightful ball, and the rest was simple. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Ireland grab the equaliser and we're all square. Ireland surely know by now that they've put so much work into producing the equaliser that they'll battle on for a winner. You know, it's, it's all one-way traffic for them now and they simply have to capitalise on it. Germany showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Goes wide. Going through. McGeady. Ireland merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Mario Gomez. Well played, he saw that coming. Brady. It's a long ball but it's not hit its target. So that's it, it is all over. A very good game of football, no winner, but both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment, and it ends all square. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, that was an exercise in teamwork, cohesion and, and doggedness, Peter. A refusal to accept defeat. <laughs>